So tonight I'm going to try to add a square wave to the VCO of the Monotron. Uh, they have these really handy patch points located on the back, uh, pitch and gate, or how I made pitch and gate controls. It's a very, very straightforward thing to do. And then they have uh, VCC and ground here, VCC being the supply voltage, so it's probably three volts or something a little bit less than that and then I think I'm going to divide the supply voltage down a little bit and use an op amp to compare it with the VCO signal making a pulse or a square wave if it's right in the middle of the sawtooth wave it'll be a square wave so let's see if it'll work so there I've added a wire to the VCO patch point which I presume is the raw sawtooth output from the VCO. So here we've got a, let's see, uh, this is pitch, green one's gate, black one's ground, and then the red one over here, this is VCC, and this is the raw VCO output. And then uh, when I make this square wave, it's going to go back in through the auxiliary input. Check and make sure it still works. So I've got this super complicated circuit here where it takes the raw VCO and compares it with a variable voltage here made by a pot. And that goes to a TL081 op amp, which is just whatever I had lying around. And then it, there's a little uh, it would be like a 1 over 3 voltage divider before it goes back into the synth so that it doesn't overdrive the heck out of the filter. And uh, here's a little plot of what the sort of square wave waveform looks like. A little bit of the... Uh, and I, was, I was thinking that the auxiliary jack would open up the connection from the sawtooth VCO to the VCF but it doesn't actually do that, I don't think. But you can hear, you can sort of get kind of a pulse width sounding wave out of it if you uh, check this out just a second here. So you notice if I uh, turn that con or that voltage that it's comparing the VCO with all the way to the right or left, there won't be any output from the op amp, and you'll just get the original sawtooth. So. Uh, Looks like my uh, square is a little bit louder than the uh, than the sawtooth. You just have to change this voltage divider right here. And let me see if I can find the place in the synth where I need to cut a trace in order that the sawtooth doesn't go straight to the filter when I do this, so I can get a pure square wave. So you can get the schematic on the web really easy. And here is where. The sawtooth wave comes out, it's attached to this little test point that I used and it looks like it goes to C14 and then that goes to an op amp that also buffers the audio in. So what I need to do is cut C14 and then the only thing that will be going to the filter will be whatever is coming in this uh, external input jack right here. Uh, there's no silk screen on this thing, so it took a bit of time to find out which one was C14. Um, I looked at the schematic and there's no other capacitor that's tied to the VCO test point, so I just have a multimeter and it's hooked up to the VCO test point and I just kind of poked around until I found which one was tied to it and it turns out 
It's this capacitor right here and it's also tied to a 4.7K resistor to ground. And that's the other thing that's tied to the VCO test point on the schematic so that kind of seals the deal. Pretty sure that this trace right here from this via to this capacitor is what I need to cut in order to get the uh, raw VCO output from getting to the filter. So the trace is cut. You can't even tell that it's cut. It's a pretty pretty small deal but if I touch the top of this cap it won't beep anymore and then I touch the via that goes to the test point and it does beep. So let's plug her in and see if we get just square wave. So it works. Uh, the circuit board kind of looks like a mess because I had to tweak the uh, resistor dividers to get uh, square and sawtooth to have approximately the same volume and I only had 10k and 1k resistors lying around so did a lot of series and parallel stuff to get them to the right volumes but it's pretty trivial if you know anything about anything you'll I don't know whatever anyways uh, here is a demo of how it sounds and I got it recorded on Ableton so it'll be higher quality so square <laughs> And then if you want to go back to the old regular sawtooth. I just tied the LFO into pulse width and it actually works pretty well. And you can add it to control and filter too. Thank <laughs> you. 